Okay, let's start off with um, a hand raise. And hands are very powerful. We use them every single day. We use them uh, when we work, we use them to eat, we use them to groom ourselves. Our hands are overused, and especially with computers and typewriters. So what we're gonna do is a hand release, and this is gonna affect the, the hand, the elbow, the shoulder, the neck, the head, and the jaw. It'll also work for mental clarity. And in addition to that, it's gonna help things like breathing. So let's, let's get started here. Now we're gonna use the same basic principles that we use with all fashion maneuvers. It's counter rotation. <clears throat> take your hands, put them in front of you like this. Take your right hand, <clears throat> take it on your left thumb and turn forward. So you actually turn the skin forward, pull it apart. And then when you pull it apart, pull your elbow to the back, to the right, turn your head to the left, and you can squat. And then what you wanna do is breathe six times. Breathe with me. Nose. And I'm constantly increasing the stretch as I go across. Now you open up and move around and you're going to feel a bit more oxygen, a bit more flow, move your hand around and see how it feels. Now we're gonna do slightly different directions on all of the fingers. Um, we're gonna to go to the second finger now and we're gonna take your right hand, put it on your left finger. And what you're gonna do is you're going to turn the finger backwards. So you're gonna squeeze it and pull it backwards. Pull it apart and then pull your elbow around and turn your head and squat. Breathe in. Through the nose. And come back up. <clears throat> very, very simple here. And we're gonna go finger by finger. Now, we're gonna take the middle finger Again, turning inward, pulling apart, rotating slowly, and bend and squat. Through the nose. Perfect, awesome. Now this finger here, we're gonna turn the same way as the thumb. We're gonna turn away. So grab it, turn away, pull. And I, when I pull, I feel a tension all the way through here. And I'm moving that tension like a circle around and then squatting and turning my head again, breathing. Through the nose. And we're gonna go for the last one. Now the baby one, this one I love the most because it's for my heart. And each finger represents one of the organs. We're gonna turn that one, pull it away, pull it all the way around to the right, turn my head to the left, squat and breathe. To the nose. Now, with one hand done, just walk around and see the difference. Move your hand around, feel your shoulder and feel your hip and see if they've changed. Now we're gonna do the second side. We're gonna do the right side. So it's the same thing. Uh, we're just going to use the other hand. Take the left hand, put it on the right thumb, turn forward, pull away, pull elbow all the way back to the left and turn your head to the right and start to squat. And the squatting, this counter rotation, gives the body the fetal position and that's what we're shooting for. So breathe in. To the nose. Come back up. 
Now let's go to the index finger. Again, we're gonna take it and turn it. Rotating it towards yourself, pulling away. Pulling that elbow back to the left. Turn your head to the right and squat again. Six breaths. The nose. And people ask why we do different breaths to the mouth and nose. Different layers of fascia are activated by mouth breathing and nose breathing. So the middle finger grabbing, turning, pulling away, pulling that left elbow around, turning your head to the right, squatting again, and breathe in. Come on up. Well, love that feeling. <clears throat> Feels good every time I do it. Now again, the uh, thumb and the ring finger, we're gonna turn away from the body, okay? So turning away, pulling, rotating, and breathe. And you'll notice I'm keeping constant tension on my body as I'm moving around. And finally for the heart, grab it, Turn the skin, pulling away, squatting and breathe. Whoa. Man, every single time I do that, it just lights me up. This is super powerful for carpal tunnel syndrome for hands, for anybody who uses their hands, especially for writing or for typing. This will really help.